All right, today Monday, M157 sleeved block. Okay, uh, we have balancing that no need to do it. I will show you why. Okay, the wrist pin obviously it's within 0.1 of a gram plus minus 110.5. All right, 110.5. Hundred ten point five, hundred ten point four, hundred ten point five, ten point five, ten point five. Then Let's reset it. One second. Then let's get. I reset it now with the plastic on top of this. Let's get the pistons. All right. Four hundred ten point one. Four hundred nine point seven. You remember the plus minus 0.2 gram? That's what I'm talking about. 410 grams. 410 pistol number 4. 410.1. This is what I'm expecting to see with these pistols. 410 point two, four hundred ten, four hundred nine point nine to four hundred ten, four hundred ten point one, and the last piston, number eight. Four hundred ten point two. So this give us that it was point seven, nine point seven, the lightest, point two, the heaviest. It's giving to you. Let's give it to you three five two point five point point twenty five of a gram plus minus. That means nothing to do with the pistons. It doesn't matter where you're gonna put it. it doesn't matter where you're gonna put the wrist pin. Make us very small the difference. I dare you to test an aftermarket piston and get the weight. I dare you, anybody, anyone. This will gonna be always the same. This is supposed to be, if I remember correct, how much this is shit? 0.6 grams, something like that, right? Yeah, this all of them are 0.6 grams, and I have another scale that's more. Uh, you can see uh, more down than 0.1 uh, gram. Now the connectors. I need both hands. I cannot do it with one hand. Let's get the average weight of the connector rod to see how they looks like. Connector rod number zero of five, and we have five hundred one point nine grams. Connector number ten. Five one point nine. Connector number sixteen. Five one point three. You get the picture, right? I don't want to waste your time. Come on, stay steady. I have to put it again in the same position and it has to be, I'm doing this with both hands. It's 501.9. You can see, yeah. If you're placing all the connect notes in the same spot on the scale all the time and you're not interrupting, you're not vibrating the scale, you're going to get always the same readings. If you're changing, 
it's sensing everything. 5.1.9. And I put a bit of the small end, the big end is going to be almost the same. You're going to have 0.2 grams plus minus. This little bit slighter, more heavy, it's 502.2 grams. Number 30. 501.9 Once again, don't misunderstand what I'm saying. This is the total weight of the connector. It's not the small end or the big end. The small and big end, it's a different story. But well, like I said, it's going to be exactly the same. 502.2 And that was the last one. So, let me continue to check the big end, the small end. Again, for a 0.2 gram, I'm not grinding anything. It does make any sense. The connector bearings, they are within 0.2 grams. One friend, he mentioned that, ah, you know what, why you're not putting the connector bearings on the connector rods? Because we are talking about, in all of them, 0.2 grams. I'm going to get the weight. All right? And what I'm doing, let us say, the piston that's a 0.2 gram lighter, I'm going to make it with a small end that's 0.2 gram heavier. That's what I'm doing all the time, actually. Uh, this is what I'm doing also with the other aftermarket pieces of connectors from the other companies. That, but from the other companies, sometimes you have to grind a little bit here up on the small end, or you have to grind here on the big end to equalize the weight. And you have to consider also, you need to have also the average of the stock piece connecting rods. That means you need to know the weight out of eight connecting rods stock to get the average, you need to get the weight from eight stock pistons, wrist pins, and all of these parts, get an average and see where are you. So don't be so much light, don't be so much uh, heavy, because again, we are not touching the crankshaft. We are not balancing the crankshaft, that means we are not drilling the crankshaft or we are not welding to add weight on the crankshaft or insert or whatever. You get the picture, right? The ARPL-19 always, it's within 0.1 gram plus minus all the time, something 25.6 grams if I remember right, I haven't touched it yet. Let me see what I remember. 25.3 grams, I always remember 25.6, yeah. So all of them are somewhere there. Getting the weight, I need to know the weight, just in case. Like I said, instead of make balancing and playing with one gram, let us say, here what I'm doing, I make balancing and play with 0.2 grams. That's what I'm doing. So you understand that if you are plus minus 0.1 to 0.2 gram, it's perfect. I mean, if you if you get a scale that's measuring that's uh, you can weight up to from one gram, let us say, to two grams, and you don't have 0.0, it'll gonna be all the same. That's it. Enough. Enough talking. Let's start working here. Because today I have to install it. The piston I got already have it, it's ready. My, my book is over there. I have inside the envelope the piston rings. Okay, beautiful. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, that's it. Moving on. And here we go. Number one to number eight. When you're doing this stuff, the time it's flying. It's passing like anything. Anyhow, let's put it together. Now, high viscosity lubricant for the wrist pin. On the groove here inside, I'm putting also a little bit of gel. I'm talking about there inside. Okay. A little bit for the first start. So, yeah, let's start putting it together. Most probably, I'm going to upload the video as it is, this one, to so don't be huge. And then I'm going to show you when I'm going to put it in the engine. To check the clearance, don't interfere the oil jet, classic like always. Check that it's coming at top dead center, stretching the bolts with the ARP cage. Classic, like all the time, nothing different. <coughs> so, anything else? Sometimes, I think that I mentioned before, sometimes on the connection bearings, on the cracks of main bearings, when you turn it upside down, you see here that has some something like a rust. It's not a rust, actually. It, 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 that's how it looks like. And it's not nice and smooth. In this case, all of them are nice and smooth. Sometimes, 
what I have to do one very soft wire wool used one with a little bit petrol and just one clean up here not removing materials just the rough that has the bearing whoever close M56, M57 or Mercedes you understand what I'm saying that there are some imperfections on the bearings not on this one in this case it didn't have anything there is not it's not all the time sometimes and it's not in all of the bearings you can find one or two let us say it's good to pay attention to this kind of details because we can give you completely different clearance on the connecting rod. So, anything else? Nothing else. That's it for now.